In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. So we come to pray this morning in our prayer and ask to remember Carmen Greg, who was recently deceased. Also, we come to the last day of the church's year. This evening and tomorrow, we begin the season of Advent, our preparation for Christmas. So we thank God for all that he has helped us with in the past year, but we ask his guidance as we walk into this new liturgical year. To prepare ourselves, we acknowledge we do sin at times, so we ask for God's forgiveness and healing. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us now pray. Lord our God, in your goodness, you have made your Son the gateway to salvation and life. Grant that as we follow the example of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may remain faithful in the love of Christ and so pass safely through the gate of your city in heaven. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. The angel showed me, John, the river of life, rising from the throne of God and of the Lamb, and flowing crystal clear down the middle of the city street. On either side of the river were the trees of life, which bear twelve crops of fruit in a year, one in each month and the leaves of which are the cure for the pagans. The ban will be lifted. The throne of God and of the Lamb will be in its place in the city. His servants will worship him. They will see him face to face, and his name will be written on their foreheads. It will never be night again, and they will not need lamplight or sunlight, because the Lord God will be shining on them. They will reign forever and ever. The angel said to me, All that you have written is sure and will come true. The Lord God who gives the Spirit to the prophets has sent his angel to reveal to his servants what is soon to take place. Very soon now I shall be with you again. Happy are those who treasure the prophetic message of this book. The Word of the Lord. Our response to the psalm, Maranatha, come Lord Jesus. Come, Ring out your joy to the Lord. Hail the rock who saves us. Let us come before him giving thanks. With songs let us hail the Lord. A mighty God is the Lord, a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, to the heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it and the dry land shaped by his hands. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us, for he is our God, and we the people who belong to his pasture, 
the flock that is led by his hand. Our gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. Be watchful, pray constantly, that you may be worthy to stand before the Son of Man. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, Watch yourselves, or your hearts will be coarsened with debauchery and drunkenness and the cares of life. And that day will be sprung on you suddenly like a trap. For it will come down to every living person on the face of the earth. Stay awake. Praying at all times for the strength to survive all that is going to happen and to stand with confidence before the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Today is the last day of the church's year in a week which began with the feast of Christ the King. Tomorrow we start all over again with the first Sunday of Advent. In an earlier age, perhaps, people had the leisure to ponder the meanings of these central events. Nowadays, we get so caught up by Christmas commercials months before the event itself. Everything seems to always be happening at a rush. Advent is gone before we have the time to reflect at all. And besides, it's, it's easier to picture the baby in the manger than to imagine the end of time. But on this last day of the church's year, we listen to the last teaching of Jesus in Luke's Gospel before his passion and death. We hear Jesus speaking about the troubling times of this world and how people can be tempted to give up the struggle for the fullness of life and to lose themselves in lucidity, in alcohol, in allowing the cares of this world to overtake them. We are tempted to live our days as a life which has no meaning, as though we will never have to give an account of how we live each day. But then we hear the words of Jesus, stand up straight. Living a good, simple and faithful life will allow us to stand with confidence before our God. John's vision in the Apocalypse is sure and true. Life and its sorrows may cause us to stoop or stagger at times, so it's good to remind ourselves of the necessity of always striving to stand up straight. In our readings, the imagery of the apocalypse describes the bliss of heaven. John sees the heavenly Jerusalem as the river of life. There is no need for sunlight or lamplight because our God himself provides illumination. And rather than living among them in a temple, God and the Lamb make their dwelling place amongst the people. Now, Jesus' words do contain a warning not to grow weary of waiting. You know, there's a wonderful prayer that St. Thomas Aquinas wrote. O most holy feast in which Christ is received, the memory of his passion is renewed in us. Our minds are filled with grace and the pledge of future glory is given us. Now in this prayer, St. Thomas reminds us that past, present and future are all one in the Eucharist. So just before we receive Jesus in Holy Communion, we pray that we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. When he finally comes to us in glory, the joy we look forward to at Christmas will be made complete. But the main thing is to take each day as it comes, to live walking with our God in all the events of life and in our approach to every person. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us come before the Lord who made us, for he is our God and we are his people. He cares for us and listens to our prayers. We are to stay awake praying at all times, 
We now pray for all who need the church in the ways of prayer. Through them may we find strength to persevere to the end. Lord, hear us. We are to watch ourselves, lest our hearts be cautioned. We pray for all who seek to escape the challenges of life. May we help each other by our concern and example. Lord, hear us. We pray for all our friends who have died recently, for those who have died from the coronavirus. May they and all the faithful departed see God face to face in true light. Lord, hear us. We pray for our needs of today. We pray for those who are ill at this time, especially those suffering from the virus and their families. Lord, hear us. Father, listen to our many needs of which we have put before you, some of which we have put before you today. Your Son gave us confidence to ask for all we need. May our asking always be a sure sign of our faith in Him who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Let us now pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. According to his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Lord, we offer to the glory of your name the sacrament of unity and peace. As we honor the memory of the glorious Virgin Mary, the very gate of life, through whom the Saviour of the world came among us, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. Father, all powerful and ever living God, we do well, always and everywhere, to give you thanks and to praise and bless your holy name as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary. She is the Virgin Mother, prefigured in the eastern gate of the temple, through whom the Lord will enter, and after him no other. She is the humble Virgin, whose faith opened the gate of eternal life, closed by the disbelief of Eve. She is the Virgin at prayer, always interceding for sinners, that they may turn to her Son, who unseals the fountain of ever-flowing grace and opens the door of forgiveness. Through him the angels of heaven offer their prayer of adoration as they rejoice in your presence forever. May our voices be one with theirs in their triumphant hymn of praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, yes. Lest you see you come in of the Lord, for his honor in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, 
and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, so that you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Vincent our Bishop, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Andrew, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may know to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At our Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we now pray. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Be your Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ, the body of Christ.
We pray the prayer of spiritual communion for those who are unable to be here this morning. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us now pray. Refresh, Lord God, by this joyous sacrament, we pray that through the Blessed Virgin Mary, who brought our Saviour into the world, your gifts of grace may come down on us, and the gate of heaven may be opened to receive us into the joy of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorify God in your daily lives. Amen.